Hey everybody, this is Michael with SEO Geek. I uh, wanted to share some new uh, information that we've added into the backlink report to uh, make it a little more robust and informational. So let's go ahead and just jump right in here. So under the SEO dropdown, you see backlink report, backlink summary, and backlink opportunities. So if I'm going into the backlink report, which is the one that I'm on, and I type in a domain name, you do not need to include the HTTP. Um, that makes it more of an absolute path. So if you do that, you're just checking a single page. If you do it this way, you're just checking the entire domain. So I'll hit submit. And then what it gives us back is, is we see the total number of backlinks, the number of domains from those backlinks. We'll get a spam score, um, the number of individual IPs that are creating these backlinks. And then you can see the, you know, the history and top level domain, all that stuff's been here before. What we've added in is this new feature down here at the bottom for the backlink anchors. So you can go through and start to see what anchors make up these backlinks. So you can start readjusting what you need to do with those. And then you can also go through and start finding negative backlinks so that we can, we can start um, uh, basically having those removed. That's it. What next thing we will add in here though, I think we'll work in an export function in here for you. Um, that way you can take these out and throw them into uh, Google or, or Bing if you want to do the negative backlink um, function. That's all I got on this one, and thanks for listening.